Pardon. Three more. That's an amazing effort, if you like, if you the can call it that. Four. To knock the brown in off just a little glance. I think he hit the green on the way through. It's left a free ball. I'm sure it's the green here first. Extraordinary. You couldn't do that again if you tried. Come on, ball. You can't snooker behind a free ball, of course, but you can use the free ball in order to leave your opponent in a snooker. So half a chance for Highfield. Desperately needs this frame. He's 17 in front. A lot to do though with those bought colours. One. means he only needs the yellow but well he's looked at the pulling angle Philip seven and it, uh, it's not an easy one and I suppose he felt he had a bit of license to do that with the yeah, other colors safe but well, at least he hasn't left it I suppose if it goes in we say it's a good shot and it's a frame winner hard to curb your natural way of playing, isn't it? Clever shot from Selby, getting the brown off, which of course he'll need. Yes, absolutely has played. This is where he's a good player, well, great player, Selby. He's, you know, he, he tactically is superior to almost everyone else. Of course, there's some leading players who can can match him, but I think the lower-ranked players, he kind of outmaneuvers them. He doesn't always beat them, but he does outmaneuver them in tactics. That's very handy. Well, what well, I said is usually the case, but I can't say that he's outmaneuvered him this time because Liam Highfield with that shot is, is the governor in this frame. He's in charge. Because Selby's got to hit this or else he needs a snooker. In which case, of course, if he does miss, it won't be put back. for that one back. The perfect kiss, really, to leave the yellow safe. That's the only ball that Highfield needs. It's been something of... A season for the veteran, hasn't it, with Mark King and Anthony Hamilton winning their maiden ranking titles. And another veteran is going well at the moment, James Watanar, up against Xiao Gadong, one of the young and very talented Chinese players. Watanar, 3-1 up. 
twice a ranking titleist, former world semi-finalist Watanar. Well, he might have a shot here to develop the blue, which again is something that will be in his favour by some way. It's a good shot, that. He knew he had to get a fairly thick contact with the yellow. He's not snookered him, but he's really put this game out in the, in the open again. Whoever puts the yellow and green could fancy winning the frame. Of course, if it's high field, he wins it anyway. I wouldn't like his next shot very much. I think he's in trouble. And lots of it as well. I'm just wondering here if he could conceivably get the green into play as well. I'm not sure whether the blue's in the way of the path towards the green and then get a snooker behind the black, pink and blue. And surely he's not left a gap, has he? He may have done. There was a bit of daylight there, wasn't there, that we briefly got a glimpse of. But he's still not much of the yellow and he's playing, I think, considering playing out of a snooker. But uh, under the cushion there, he can't really play any great swerve. He can't get any spin on the ball. Oh, what on earth is he looking at here? He's in all kinds of trouble, it seems. Of course, it'll go back if he misses. Oh, and that's the nice. line. Box hole before. And he got no chance to improve on his first effort. He's going straight back. Maisie now needs yellow and green. Right. Which changes things, Philip. Uh, the green is the other only relatively safe ball. That's also not much of an effort, or not a good oh, enough yes. effort. Box I think Selby four. will probably get out of his chair and have a look at this. I suspect it'll be going back. Critical moments, these, in terms of how competitive this match will become. I'm not sure there'll be a huge amount of fight left in Liam Highfield if he loses his frame. The problem with this snooker is that you could go past this four or five times and give 20 points away if you're not careful. You've got just a single ball to aim at. It's one of those. It's really oh, difficult to get the angle. If the yellow was away from the cushion, you'd have two chances, direct or cushion first, so the target's bigger. And, of course, you can't go two cushions twice across because the green's in the way. It's rotten, this. This really is one that he could miss a number of times. Okay. But the rules are there for both players. The miss rule. I think you're in a good commentary position here, Philip. You probably were the first to know he'd missed again. Yes, that's as close as he's got. But and a, miss. a miss is as good as a mile in this situation. So that's 16 valuable points that have gone towards the world champions score. It's changed the whole dynamic of this frame now, hasn't it? At one stage, Highfield only needed the yellow. Now, we're not far off parity. Just eight points between them. Change of a t approach. Hit and hope. And that's not gone any better. This time he's hit the pink. And he's left a free ball. Well, my goodness. Oh, I don't know what will happen here. I, th I suspect this will go back again because the frustration is there for all to see. And why would he need to play this shot? Only two behind now. He could... Well, he'll be in front in a minute. 
I don't see him playing this. I see him putting it back for another go. Is this one of those situations, Neil, whereby if it did go back and Highfield missed the yellow by a whisker that the referee would take into account the difficulty of escaping the snooker and perhaps stop calling the miss? No, I mean, it's hypothetical now, but of course, don't forget about the fourth go. He was so close to hitting it and it went, it went back, so that was the precedent set. Interesting that Mark went up and played that. I'm really surprised. I didn't see any reason why he shouldn't keep going. Could have been there all night. But this is the shot that wins in the frame if it goes in, I guess. Yellow to green. I'll tell you what, that is not easy down there. We saw Ronnie O'Sullivan miss a green along there, and then one that he got later on was it wobbled like that one. So this table, I tell you, it does not give you anything down the cushion. Well, how has he won this frame? And I think that's about to happen here. Seven. <laughs> this is uh, almost breaking and entering isn't it he's absolutely stolen this grand larceny he's done it before and he'll do it again it was the double Eleven. kiss wasn't it that Highfield got that set up Selby for the relatively easy snooker easy to lay fiendish to get out of and that's what's changed the balance of power in this frame 16. fatally in Highfield's case and now well does he really believe he can win four on the bounce against Mark Selby that's what he's got to do to turn this around. Well, even Mark Selby 22. puffs out his cheeks. He's had to work hard in two of the three frames this evening. In between, he made a fluent break of 89, but he's firmly in charge now, leading Liam Highfield 3-0.